What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Scott Free, and this is The Sounds of Sunday. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Scott Free. Thank you for tuning in on this November 29th, 2020 show. Um, it's going to be my late show today because actually I've been up uh, working and watching football day to day. You know, it's a lot of good games other than my team not playing until Tuesday, which is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Shout out to all my Steelers nation out there. Um, I know we don't like to watch games on Tuesday, so a lot of us will probably be watching at home. Anyway, coming up is my R&B music mix for today. Right here on the sounds of Sunday. Right back. Thank you. 
Joe Megal with Chicago. And before that, you heard one by Dan Leibowitz with Come and Get It. And before that was one by Klinkas Morita, Morita with Swagger. And kicking off this R&B music mix for today was one by Don Ortiz with Toe Jam. Right here on the Sound of Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this November 29, 2020 show. I want to give a shout out to um, my real estate agent over in the Philippines. Her name is Monera Bondak. Monera, this is a shout out for you. Thank you for te- taking care of my property over there. And also a shout out to my executive officer, my executive, my executive partner over there, Vanessa Rian. Vanessa, this is a shout out for you. Keep up to go work. We got a lot of work to do this, this week, so stay tuned. All right. Coming up is my smooth jazz music mix right here. The sounds of Sunday. <laughs>
cut by Joe Begal. Another cut by Joe Begal with Thank You, R-C-E. That's so cut. Um, before that, you heard one by Craig MacArthur with Power Shut Off. And before that was Trevor Garrard with Full Moon Empty House. And kicking off this R uh, Smooth Jazz Music Mix was uh, one by Otis McDonald with Sunday Skate and Golden Gate. That's so cuts. Thank you for tuning this afternoon. I am your host, Scott Free, where I play all my music that you've never heard before. By content creators you've never heard of before, but I play them in from both of my show. Um, <clears throat> thank you for tuning in on this November 29th, 2020 show, soon to be December in a couple of days. So, anyway, um, as I promised last weekend, I want to <clears throat> bring you up to the uh, 21 point um, African American political agenda sponsored by my boy. Uh, brother T. West. Shout out to my brother T. West. West. You all need to go over to Afro Synergy on YouTube. Check out his show. He's got some good news, good journalism. Um, he gets, brings receipts and he's doing a good job, especially with this election. Uh, crazy election that's going on right now. Okay, so <clears throat> right now I'm going into um, we're going into 18 and 19 on the uh, 21 point political agenda. Then I'm going to actually go from 1 through 19. Okay. Uh, 18 is government programs must be accountable and transparent in the African American communities. Um, 19, military must be prepared to defend domestically and abroad. Okay. That's 18 and 19. Now, <clears throat> for many of you who have not heard of the uh, 21 point uh, political, African American political agenda, I'm going to actually bring you up to, up, I'm going to brief you, bring you up to speed. Up to speed. Um, from 1 through 19, okay? Number one is government study on the adverse effects today and slave, of slavery, Jim Crow, and discrimination against African Americans, adverse effects on establishment and accumulation of generational wealth, and the monetary values of to beneficiaries of slavery, Jim Crow, and discrimination. That's number one. Number two, very important, reparations is owed and must be rendered to African Americans, descendants of those enslaved beginning approximately in 1619 in primarily British, French, and Spanish colony territories and what would become the United States of America. That's reparations, very important. Number three, to move reparations bill HR 40 into discussion from committee to a vote in the full house. Number four, to produce a U.S. Senate bill equivalent to HR 40 in the House. No more studies. We don't want to hear studies. Okay. Studies have been on somebody's desk for over 40 years. No more studies. Time to move that bill out of out of the uh, committee into the House. Number five. Hard work and free labor should be valued and rewarded, whether it started in 16 and 19 or today. All, uh, number six, all citizens of the United States must have the right to vote, and that right must be protected. Number seven, prison reform must include the right for ex-felons who have served their sentences, the right to vote in all states. Number eight, Constitution of the United States must be upheld. Number nine, federal laws of the United States must be upheld. Number ten, government should not intrude in affairs of African-American families except where there are Violation of law. Okay. Number eleven. The core of families are male, female, and children. Nothing, nothing more. Male, female, and children. Period. Number twelve. Life must be respected and protected. Number thirteen. Education must be treated with a level of respect and importance of the military. Number fourteen. Social and welfare programs must be a means. To self sufficiency, not a lifestyle. Okay? Number 15, courts and police departments must uphold the constitutional rights of African Americans, ensuring they are free from 9 11 calls solely based on racism that can and has led to the death of African Americans. Um, in this part, I actually I think this, the states, local state, local, local and states should start. Finding actually finding people for wasting their time on 9/11 calls. Okay, a lot of these calls are disrupting the uh, normal <clears throat> dispatch of 9/11 emergency calls, and you have some people out there just 
have vendettas against other people because of their skin color. I think they need to be fined in small claims court or they need to be charged by the local police departments um, for excessive use of 911 calls on non-emergency. Okay. Uh, okay, so 16. Government must not use the police force in African American communities like an ATM machine, using police and court systems to supplement budgets. That means profiling, staging uh, for tickets and stuff like that. Number 17, health care for African Americans must be in proportion to the severity of the needs and as reflected in ethnic comparative study. Number 18, government aid. Government programs must be accountable and transparent in African American communities. And bringing you up to date um, is number 19. Military must be prepared to defend domestically as well as abroad. Like our military, we swear, swear an oath. I am a U.S. Marine, <clears throat> and we swore an oath to, to defend this country uh, domestic and abroad. Okay, we were out to all my Marines out there. Anyway, uh, coming up is my last music set for today is my international music mix right here on the sounds of Sunday. Right back.
Special Special Cut by Rick Steele with Feels Nice. And before that, you heard one by Matt Harris with Rubber, excuse me, with Rubber Dub. Right here, nice little cut. And before that was a nice little blues cut I picked out today was one by John Daly with Bare Belly Blues. I'm pretty sure many of you probably heard that cut before. Um, most of my music that you hear is actually going through rotation, so you might have heard some song before, you might have not. Um, every now and then I will actually put new music on um, from the YouTube audio library list, um, so check those out. But anyway, I, those are from content creators that you've never heard before. Some you may have, but I plan to promote them on my show. And before that, uh, kicking off this international music mix was one by Dan Leibowitz with Satisfaction Guarantee. I want to thank everybody for tuning in this afternoon on this November 20, 9th show, 2020. This will probably come up as a late show tonight um, because I've actually been busy today and did watch it football. So I've taken my little brat out to the park. Um, so anyway, like I said, shout out to my um, real estate agent over there in the Philippines, uh, Manera uh, Bondoc. Thank you for taking care of the property uh, for the owners, um, Mr. and Mrs. Howe. Um, and thank you for giving me the opportunity, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Howe, to um, lease a, a beautiful uh, piece of property over there um, in the Metro Gate area. In, uh, Papanga, the Philippines. Also, shout out to my executive partner over there, Vanessa Ria. Vanessa, keep up the good work and just make sure you guys you take care of the house, okay? We have offices over there in the house, uh, big property, nice pool with jacuzzi over there. So they're taking good care of it, okay? Anyway, that's it for today. I am your host, Scott Free, and thank you for tuning in right here on the Sounds of Sunday. I'll see you next, next weekend. Later.